Back when I was a boy, we listened to cassette tapes. I used to listen to cassette tapes. That's how I had my music. That's a cassette. Cassette tapes used to be a very popular method of getting your music. It's a little thing like that. The tape is in there and it starts out all on this end and when it gets down it's all on that end and you turn it over and you listen to the other side this is uh, a blank tape so you could go to the store and buy the blank tapes and you could record your music off the radio or you could plug a microphone in and record your own self singing or uh, actually the cassette tape was an educational thing too the first time i saw them was in elementary school the teachers were using these to teach the kids how to read. So we would read into the cassette player and then listen to it back and the uh, teacher could make the corrections. Sometimes something would go wrong with your cassette tape. You'd take it out of the player and there'd be tape all jumbled up and it would be uh, ruined and you would say, oh no, the player ate my tape. But sometimes you could fix it with a pencil. So you stick the pencil in there and you wind it and sometimes you could fix it and sometimes it would get twisted around and you could untwist it and you could salvage it maybe there was a little bit of a, a noise where some of the uh, magnetic stuff got pulled off but you could sometimes salvage your tapes and let me show you this special tape right here this is a tape i made for history class when i was in eighth grade i had a project and i read my grandfather's diary he was in the army in world war one and he was in combat in france and he kept his notes so i opened up the pages of his diary and read it into this cassette tape so that's a historical thing kind of an interesting tape too because this is a av educator premium auto magnetics corporation gardenia california so that was made for teachers and educational. But you could go in the store and you could buy jazz or rock or country or whatever kind of music you wanted. And uh, these were pre-recorded -pre cassettes. And, uh, you know, most of these ran like 45 minutes. There were also singles. You could buy a single tape that had a single song. I never bought those because I just thought it was kind of a waste of money to have a cassette that's going to run like three minutes and then you got to turn it over to hear the other side. Let me show you another kind of tape. This is a reel-to-reel. -reel. So the reel-to-reel -reel tape is much wider and it has a much better quality to it. But the problem was it's so much bigger. So reel-to-reel -reel you need reels like this are larger and you need two of them. So they weren't quite as portable as the cassette tape. Uh, you couldn't have a reel-to-reel -reel in your car but cassette players were in your car. So reel-to-reel -reel was superior in one way but inferior in another. So they had their trade-offs. Here's a Panasonic cassette player. These cassette decks were everywhere. Every classroom at school had them. Everybody had one in their house. My friend Todd had one right before the Walkman was introduced back in the 70s. So he would be hanging around with this and the earbud, one that goes in one ear and listening to his music. And here's how it works. You just uh, open it up, put your cassette tape in, press play, and there you go. This one here is kind of interesting. It's a newer one. It's a slimline. It's much thinner. When I was a kid, they were thicker than this. It runs on batteries, or you can plug it in. It's got a built-in microphone right here. So you can listen, you know, you can uh, record yourself. It's really crap quality. But they were everywhere. They were cheap. I don't remember what they cost. Maybe 25 bucks. But everybody had one of these. But if you wanted something nicer, there were lots of higher quality ones with all different kind of controls. My brother Tom had a Motorola that was really nice. It had a radio in there. It had special features where you could speed things up, slow things down. He had a, a nice microphone. These came with a, a microphone that plugged in on the side, a crappy little microphone. And it came with the crappy little ear thing that plugged into one ear. Um, and you know what else is interesting? When you're playing this thing on batteries, as the batteries get weak, the music starts to play slow. So that was kind of dumb. But anyhow, these things were very popular. Panasonic, they must have made millions of them because these were around 20, 25, 30 years. They just kept improving it slightly, making it a little bit better, a little bit smaller. A little bit better battery life, adding little features, a little bit cheaper. 
I've got one speaker here, not a real high quality speaker, but it worked. It was a basic and it was a classic. Got a little handle, you can carry it around, put your batteries in the back. Everybody had one of those Panasonic cassette decks. Now let me tell you about the mixtapes. So you would have all your favorite songs and you could get them all on one cassette tape. So that's a mixtape right there where I had a bunch of my favorite songs. So if you have a, a double deck, you have one that's got the good song in, you can uh, borrow it from your friend and then you line them both up and you press play on the one, record on the other, you record the song, record another song. So people had their mixtapes, you know, on this, it's a 90 minute tape, you can fit a lot of songs on there. So you can make your favorite song collection. And that was pretty neat to have. When CDs came, things were so different because it wasn't linear. You can skip songs, you know, you can go, oh, I want to go to the third song. You don't have to listen to the first, the second, the third. And you don't have to rewind. When you're done, you have to rewind these or get it to the end. You don't want to leave it right in the middle. CDs, hey, there's no rewinding. I found this. This was when my kids were little, when they went to McDonald's. You know how you get a toy in your Happy Meal? Well, this was a McDonald's. They had a cassette tape with Ronald McDonald songs. Besides music, I had uh, a bunch of the cassettes that had radio shows, Abbott and Costello and stuff like that, The Great Gildersleeve and funny stuff like that, and books. So I used to listen to a lot of books on cassette tape while I was driving. And, uh, you know, cassette tapes are gone now, but they were quite the thing for a big part of my life. Before the cassette tapes was 8-track tapes. After cassette tapes, it was the CD. Now CDs are done. 1999 uh, Camry I used to drive had a stereo in it that would take CDs and cassettes and I thought man I'm living the good life I got both. Back when I was a boy cassette tapes were a big deal. Alright that's about it kids. See you next time.